Hi, I'm uh, Arun Kumar from BlackBerry. I'm a senior product manager for multimedia. And I'd love to show you BlackBerry 10 in action. We start by waking up the device. And what you're presented with is all your running applications. Now these are actual applications running in the background. Select an application and you're in it. You can always minimize and select another application. Again, these are live, always on, always connected, running applications. They're not in a pause state. Now if I, the red LED goes off, which means I have a notification, I can peek right into BlackBerry Hub to see if it's important or not. If it's not important, I simply continue with what I was doing. If, however, it is important, I can simply take action. With BlackBerry Hub, we integrate all your messages, whether it's email, BBM, text messaging, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter. It's all in one spot. I simply select a message, and now I can act on it. As you can see, we seamlessly flow from applications to applications. I can also swipe to view my work applications. BlackBerry 10 with BlackBerry Balance really helps me manage both my personal and professional life with one single device. Can you show us, um, it wasn't mentioned today at the press conference, is there a Maps app available for it today? Sure. Right there. Who, and who is providing the mapping um, data to you guys? Is it an in-house app? Yeah, so we've built it in-house. Um, with regards to the back-end provider, we can check with PR to see uh, exactly who it is. I don't have the details on that but one. But it's probably the same provider as BB7, right? I don't think you've I'm changed. I'm not sure. We've changed a lot with BlackBerry oh, 10. Changed, so it could be We've changed a lot with BlackBerry 10. Can you show us a little bit if it's uh, not connecting? Yep. Maybe just show us a little bit of the keyboard and action. I know sure. that was uh, yeah. the definitely. typing experience is, fairly, yeah. is a very unique one for BB10. So we've always been known for our keyboards. And with the Z10, you'll see that we have a virtual keyboard. And we really want to take the best of our physical keyboard and bring it to the virtual world. First, you'll notice it's very BlackBerry. White letters on black keys, gray frets. It's really, really fast to type with two tongues. You'll notice we have auto-correction. The very unique thing we've done with BlackBerry 10 is we also have word prediction. Instead of predicting the words over top the entire keyboard, we actually place them over the next letter you are most likely to look at and touch with your thumb. And with a simple flick, you can simply toss the entire or flick the entire word onto the screen. I also heard that you put some algorithms into it that predicts how people's fingers land on the keyboard in order for it to get more accurate over time. Right, so the keyboard not only learns and understands and adapts to how you type and how you speak, it also learns and adapts with where you pl traditionally place your fingers to adapt to touch targets to that. Which is a pretty pretty unique. So basically, is there a, an estimated time, like how long does it usually take for it to get comfortable with your typing to give you the best results? Is it a few days or a few weeks? Well, it depends um, how much you type. Yeah, it depends how much you type. I mean, the more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. So can we have a look at the uh, the hub, which uh, is a, a unified um, center for, I guess, all your communications, right? Yep. So again, if I'm in an application, let's say weather in this case, and I get a notification, a simple gesture puts me automatically right into BlackBerry Hub. And I can see all my notifications, all my messages from BBM, email, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, my calls. And it's not just messaging. It's also friend requests, notifications. This is my one-stop shop to everything uh, with regards to communication. On so right now it's BB10, sorry, BBM, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, email, SMS. Um, are there any other services or? There are APIs for third-party apps to plug into this. Okay, so an, uh, somebody, let's say, 
Google Plus wanted to bring support to to uh, BB10, they could plug it in and you can have BB, uh, Google Plus updates. Yeah, so again, publicly available APIs that allow third parties to plug into BlackBerry Hub, just like some of the out of box offerings we have. As you mentioned, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. So yeah, once Vine launches, uh, I guess we can have uh, Vine appear in the Hub as well. So It's all up to third party developers. Um, can we also look at uh, um, another unique feature they showed was the uh, camera app. Sure. Um, some of the, the cool things you're doing with that. So we have a great camera on BlackBerry 10. You can access it from the lock screen. It wasn't uh, mentioned well. in the conference, but um, how many megapixels is it? Yep, the rear camera is 8 megapixel autofocus that does 1080p uh, video recording. The front camera is a 2 megapixel fixed focus, which also allows for 720p HD recording. So our camera, you can basically touch anywhere to take a picture. You don't have to focus on a very tiny button to take the picture. You just simply touch anywhere to take a photo. If you want to change the focus, simply drag the focus box and touch anywhere to take a photo. We support still images as well as full HD recording, but also the unique time shift mode. So with BlackBerry 10 in our time shift feature, this is a feature that solves a lot of the problems you encounter today when you try and take photos. Eyes closed, people not smiling. With time shift, we actually allow you to move forward and reverse in time through the entire photo. We detect faces, allowing you to move forward and reverse in time on the overall face. Is that there wasn't a, a really good photo. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, can either say it. We get the idea, but yeah, yeah. It, it obviously that's not the greatest demonstration, but I mean it does it is a unique feature. Um is the image quality reduced when it's in that mode? Or is it still the full high res? Not at all. Like, it's the full high res. So what full. we're actually doing is the minute you go into time shift mode, we start capturing high res images in the background. And we're saving them and discarding them until you hit select. The minute you hit select, when you are presented with the time shift review screen. We show you five images before and five images after. We allow you to you know, use any one of those images to capture the perfect moment. When you hit save, we discard the rest of the photos. So we are taking full high res images uh, when you are in time shift mode. Now the last thing I want to quickly look at would be the uh, built-in editing software, yes. um, which is nice that instead of having to rely on some third party application, uh, you guys have built something that takes advantage of all the BB10 gestures. For sure. So let's find a, I'm in the photo gallery here. Let's find a photo we would like to edit. Looks like we're getting a car. So as you mentioned, we have out of the box photo editing. Simply select edit on a photo. And we have various features and functionalities in this editor. We allow you to crop, rotate the photo. Let's go four by three. Now let's make it a square. Change just a bit. We allow you to enhance it. So we detect um, auto enhance. If there's a face in the image, we'll actually detect where the eyes are. So if you want to put red eye, we'll figure out where the eyes are and where red eye needs to be removed. You don't have to tell us using your finger. We have artistic styles, for example, black and white, Lomo, antique. There's a really great list of different artistic styles. If you want to see what it might look like before applying the changes, again, we incorporate gestures, which allow you to drag what the filter would look like. And we have styles or, or frames. We allow you to age the photo. You know, half tone. Cartoon if you so choose. So again, a very powerful and feature-rich out-of-the-box photo editing solution. We also have an application called StoryMaker. So we all take photos and videos all the time, uh, but we all don't necessarily know or want to spend the time to do video editing. So at BlackBerry 10, we really make it easy to take your photos and videos and create a movie that you can share with others. For example, if I create a new story, I'm presented with all the photos and videos on my device. I simply select the photos and videos I want as part of this story and hit next. The music on my device is now presented to me. Of course, Alicia Keys is the only choice today. <laughs> <laughs> it is a new day. So I can pick a song to use as the background for the movie. I can give it a title, whether it's the opening credits or the ending credits, and hit done. Now we are rendering 
full 720 or 1080p videos for you on the fly. We will do the transitions. We will put it in the right order. You know, we take the guesswork out. And, and obviously, if, the user can tweak things a little yep. bit to, to suit them. Good yeah. word. If you want to change the order, we have tweak. Yeah. Which allows you, for the power user, to simply drag and drop and reorder items. And then I can hit done. We also, just like in the photo editor where we have filters, we have themes in the video editor. For example, vintage, which really changes the look and feel of the video. Now, once these videos are completed, do you have uh, built-in sharing to, to YouTube or yeah. anything like that? Well, so. definitely. So you can select to save a video. And when your video is done, you just go in the videos app. So if I'm viewing a video, I can share it. And I have many, many options, including, as you mentioned, Facebook and YouTube. So with BlackBerry 10, it makes it really easy to not only capture the moment, but also edit and personalize it, and makes it really easy to share the moment, whether it's online or with others in the same room. Well, thank you very much for showing these features. It looks definitely looks very cool. I'm looking forward to uh, checking out the Z Z10 in person. It certainly looks like you guys have delivered on a lot of the things that people are expecting from you. And uh, good luck with the launch. Thank you. It's a really great experience, and I know people will enjoy it.